Wayne, thanks for joining us on AFL.com.au. No worries, Nick. You've stepped into one of probably the most scrutinised roles in football. Why? Um, I suppose the first point is it's a, it's a real management role, um, and that's something that I've been keen to get into. Um, there's two parts of the role. One's the sort of high-performance AFL umpiring, and the other parts are rolling out a national umpiring plan to uh, increase diversification, increase numbers of umpires and, um, and, and diversity, as I said. So one part, which is the high performance part, um, Hayden Kennedy's a, a very good young coach um, who's going to be the head coach. Um, so I'll defer to him on coaching matters and technicalities of umpiring. And the other part, we've got Adam Davis, who's our national um, development manager. So two very sort of diverse um, roles. And so that's what really attracted, to, attracted me to the role. You've been in Clubland, I suppose, most of your adult life. The big change, what, sort of, what inspired it? Um, I suppose, as I said before, the, the high perform performance role I think I understand, having been at um, an AFL club for 22 years of my life. Um, some of those not so well performing, but, it's, uh, but some of it was okay. So, I mean, the, uh, there are some, certainly some similarities between the umpiring department, you, in terms of your, co your head coach, your, um, your assistant coaches, your, your performers, your athletes, which is the umpires as opposed to players. Um, and as I said, the other part of the role is a real management role, and that's what I've been keen to you know, sink my teeth into for a couple of years. So it has surprised a few people, but it's certainly, um, I see it as a real management role, um, certainly as opposed to coaching. You're one of Richmond's favourite sons. I think it's safe to say in this role you won't always be that popular. Uh, are you prepared for that? I wasn't overly popular at Richmond, so I think I've, I think I've had reasonable grounding in that. So uh, no, no one, uh, no one talked about that as I was going through the job process, but once I got the job, everyone told me how unpopular I was going to be. So. Um, we'll take the good with the bad. Do you have a vision for umpiring and, and the areas it needs to improve it? I think they've done a fantastic job. I think the, the image of umpiring certainly within AFL clubs and, and, and players and coaches is, is very good. Um, across the media it's okay and with fans it's uh, probably a little, a little less so. Um, certainly increasing the, um, the high performance part of it. Um, probably I think I can have a reasonable impact on that. As I said before, I've, I think I've seen that. I think I, I kind of understand what a good system, what a good process, what good coaching looks like. Um, and then you know, working with this national plan that got uh, put together last year to roll out across, across Australia to, to increase the numbers of umpires. Um, the, the amount of games of, of, of football has gone up dramatically over the last four or five years, but the amount of umpires hasn't increased at the same rate. So we'll be looking to try and close that gap. I mean, there's obviously always going to be those controversial decisions that, that split the fans. How important is it for the department to be open and transparent, I suppose, in explaining those to the public? Yeah, certainly in terms of the, the umpires, we've got to be able to explain to them that we understand they're going to make mistakes, but I think from what I've seen of good coaching and Hayden certainly have the same opinion that we want to you know, demonstrate or, or reward the, the good decisions as well. Certainly people get hung up on the, the decisions that might be mistakes, everyone makes mistakes, footballers make mistakes and administrators and coaches do. So if we think it's a mistake, we'll put our hand up and um, I mean that doesn't make it any better, but I suppose it, yeah, you certainly want to, be, you want to be transparent and you want to be honest. What about the score review system? Does that need any tinkering? Yeah, I think they're, they're certainly looking into it in, the, uh, in the, the football operations department and they've done a fair bit of work on it and I wouldn't be surprised if there's an announcement made uh, reasonably soon with that to, to increase the, the speed that uh, the, the time it takes um, and also the, um, getting the decision more correct more, more often. Razor Ray Chamberlain's been one of the more colourful characters in umpiring over the past few years. Is he likely to return from injury this year? Yeah, he is, yeah. I went out to training last night at, at Princess Park and it was my first training session that I saw and um, yeah, I was very impressed with just their, their passion for the game, their professionalism, their, their fitness is elite, um, especially the boundary umpires. I was amazed by how, how much they run and how quickly they run. Um, but Ray was out there and uh, he looks very fit and um, yeah, he'll be, he'll be uh, umpiring this year. I mean, obviously having come from that, that club background and knowing how professional the players are these days, the umpire's professionalism is, is sort of obviously getting up there, I imagine, as well. Can you see them getting to a stage of being full-time? I don't think full-time, no, because I just don't know whether you would be able to fill in the hours. Um, certainly we're looking at, Hayden's looking at um, increasing the hours that there is uh, contact between between the coaches and the umpires to, to get them into an environment where, again, like we were talking about before, that we're not just looking at the mistakes, that we're trying to really make them, make them better. You touched before on, I suppose, umpire participation numbers and, and having sort of plateaued over recent years. What can you do there to, to get umpires into the game? I think we've just got to, I mean, certainly um, there's a player to umpire program that, that Jordan Bannister and, and Lee Fisher have come through. So I think we can do that at lower levels as well, whether it's, you know, players coming out of the VFL or, or, or even out of their local leagues. Um, certainly there needs to be some uh, diversity looked at um, in the multicultural areas as well, so we, we'll be looking at that. But I'm very, very new to the job, um, but uh, they're my grand ideas at this stage in terms of um, absolutely 
um, nailing what they are. We've, uh, you're still working with Adam Davis, who's the national manager, to, to, to roll those out. Obviously a big challenge for you. You sound really excited by it. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, I, um, certainly you know, two months ago I wouldn't have thought I'd be heading up the, uh, the umpiring department, but uh, from the moment I got the nod from Mark Evans, I've been really excited and, and really um, you know, passionate and pleased with the, the, the people that are here. There's some really good people. The, as I said, I met the umpires last night. That was the fields, the, the goals and the boundaries, and just in, really impressed with their professionalism. And I suppose just number one, their, their passion for the game. They're like us, they're like all of us. They just love the game. Wayne, thanks for joining us and good luck in the new role. Thanks, Nick.